Hello guys, welcome to the next video on HTML tutorial for beginners using HTML5. In this video, we will see how to use meta tags in HTML. Now, first of all, what is a metadata? A metadata is something which shows you the information about your real data, right? So a metadata will not be displayed on the page but will be machine passable so for example some search engine wants to uh, pass your web page they will look at your metadata and pass your web page and even index your web page on their search result on the basis of metadata there are variety of parameters on which uh, this search result depends and metadata is one of them okay now what can be a metadata a metadata can be a description or a keyword or you can add the author of this document or you can add when this document was modified or other metadata which i'm going to show you now how you add this metadata so generally you add this metadata using meta tag inside your head so go inside your head and just write meta and we have two or three attributes for our meta tag one is name and name is the name of the attribute we are going to add the second one is the content and content will be the value of the attribute which is related to this uh, name okay so for example we want to add the description we just add description attribute name now for example i want to make this page for html tutorials so this description can be html tutorials for beginners or some other description related to the html tutorials right and in the same way you can add one more meta tag and this can be the keywords so here you can add keywords and these keyword uh, are preferred to be related with your web page content so this is for html tutorial for example so i can add keywords like html html5 tutorials css or htmlx or java script for example so these can be some uh, example uh, keywords you can add to this page right now the maximum length is not limited for the description or the keyword but the preferred length for description is about 160 characters because after this google search or other search engines cuts your description and pass only up to 160 characters of description in the same way for keywords you can add uh, around 200 characters of uh, keywords you can add any number of keyword but uh, you know it's preferred to have 200 characters right now in the same way you can add one more meta tag which is the author of your content for example now there is one more kind of uh, meta tag which is called robot so just write robot and what is it related to the robots meta tag provides directive for search engine crawlers and you can have archive no archive as a content or follow or no follow as a content or image or no image index as a content or index or no index so if you use archive or no archive it indicates that whether or not the page should be archived by the search engine or not in case of follow or no follow this indicates whether or not the robot should continue to crawl over pages referenced in the hyperlinks on the page in a similar way image index and no image index works and it indicates whether or not the page should appear on the referral for images for your search engine for your web page right and uh, index and no index indicates whether or not page should be included in the search engine index or not okay so generally we use index and follow as our robot meta tags 
Now there is one more uh, meta tag which is called HTTP equivalent and here if you write refresh and if you uh, set any content for example one second and you save your code and uh, refresh your web page then it will load after every second okay so it will refresh after every second you can see here it's refreshing okay and here you can give uh, one second or two second or uh, 10 second or 30 seconds so whatever number you give here it will be refreshed after these many number of seconds okay so these are some of the most uh, used meta tags which you can use in your html web page i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now